India's first podcast for all you athletes. This is Hit the Road. I am Rohan Thakar. I have with me once again Chaitanya Velal. He is an ultra athlete, Iron Man coach, three times Iron Man finisher, Deccan Cliff Anger winner, and podium finisher several times. And he is here. I am here to speak about nutrition. It may sound boring, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, it is one of the most uh, important aspect of anyone's physical fitness. Yes, totally. So, Chaitanya, you are a nutrition scientist. How does it feel to come to the show once again? <laughs> oh, first of all, uh, thanks to have me again. Uh, it's amazing. And uh, you are back. I mean, I think you didn't sleep off the last time I talked, so... <laughs> Which is good. Um, so yeah, um, this time we're going to talk about um, the food, the science behind it, um, the food for your sport, and the food that you should eat to just to live a normal, healthy life. Very well. So last time when we were speaking about, we were speaking about how he finished the Deccan Cliff Anchor, yeah. and he ate almost one kilos of uh, dal. I think it was about two kilos. Two kilos. We are speaking about sports nutrition. We are speaking about uh, nutrition required for yeah. anyone who wa- who wants to get serious into getting fit. Yeah. So what do you think? What's going on these days with people? Uh, well, uh, first of all, uh, for most of us out there, uh, you know, normal people who are mm. not into any sport, uh, we as a youth are getting, uh, one is, you know, b- b- all the job pressures uh, yeah. and the easy availability of junk food, which comes right to your doorstep, to your, right to your sofa. <laughs> I think that's a big problem. I mean, you don't even have to go to the nearby mall or the nearby restaurant. Yeah. You know, um, so that's that's the big the biggest uh, problem, I think. The, um, the modern wonders mm-hmm. has done this. Yeah, so not enough movement, yeah. easy access to the junk food. That's one of the, I think, uh, why it has, why people are facing a lot of uh, nutrition-related issues. Right. So people who are into fitness mm-hmm. alwe- are always obsessed about one word, one nutrient, protein. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. what do you what do you have to say about it? Uh, see, on there are a lot of conflicting views on this, but why they are obsessed? I we, I can talk about that first. Yeah. Is uh, it is one, protein is one of the biggest thing that a body does need yeah. when you become active, when you are looking for performance or or just a normal day-to-day healthy life. Right. Protein is a very, very essential thing. Now, whether this protein comes from your food or any other supplements, that's fine with me. Right? Okay. But uh, looking at the normal Indian diet, uh, protein does not really rank up there mm-hmm. as compared to all the carbs and fats. So all these carbs, fats, and proteins are really essential for the body. Now... We as Indians, we do get a lot of uh, we do get a lot of carbs yeah. and fats, but the protein part um, we need to you know work on. Now, if you are a vegetarian, or or even if you're a non-vegetarian, a lot of people don't eat non-vegetarian every day or right. can't afford to eat non-vegetarian mm-hmm. every day. So that is why uh, people are obsessed with the word protein. Because yes. um, if you go to a gym, then there's that think that, okay, you go to the gym, now you have to have your protein. Yeah. Not necessary. Uh, you know, do you need to, whether you do you need to take whey? Again, not necessary. It just does not depend on whether you go to the gym or not. It totally yeah. depends on what your diet is, what your gender is, what your, you know, how your diet looks like, yeah. how, how your normal everyday, what, what your food looks like. No, all of that. So it's it's a very uh, individual thing. It has to be customized how right. you eat, what you eat, and the result that you want out of it. Even the lifestyle that people follow Correct. is very erratic. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. Get up anytime. Yes. They sleep anytime. Yes. They eat anytime. Yeah. So how can they manage keeping a balanced diet, which is healthy, which is uh, you know fulfilling? Okay. Now, one of the thing I always uh, tell everybody that asks me this is, you know, um, what diet should I follow yeah. or what should I eat? You know, first of all, whatever whatever diet that you follow or, you know, it has to be sustainable. You can't right. go on a crash diet. 
you know, go t- do a crash diet for like a 10 days or, you know, stop eating, you know, do fasting. That's not going to, you know, last long. So th- it's completely useless. You right. might lose a couple of kilos here and there, but that's going to come back after you, you know, you go to your normal everyday diet. Mm-hmm. Now, this is what I mean that needs to be changed, your normal everyday diet. Yes. Right? You need to create a lifestyle which will involve you eating healthier and uh, eating in a proper, you know, in a timely manner, periodically. Right. So, I, I, I tell everyone, you know, you, whatever you're, you are eating at your home is okay. You mm. know, it, it, but just keep doing that. You know, yes. um, your roti sabji, dal chawal, great food. Yeah. Uh, you don't need to like introduce exotic stuff in your diet. Like again, as I said, it's not gonna last. Right. It has to be sustainable. Mm-hmm. And home cooked food, that is nothing but it's all about sustainability. You know, you are going to eat that every single day of your life and which we have been. Right. What got to stop is that intermittent probably pizza or you know, those uh, biscuits or right. bhel or you know, stuff like that. You can still have that. Yeah. But then if you still have that, then make sure that you still lead an active life where mm-hmm. you do when you, you know, you want to, you're craving those oily foods or craving that pizza, you can still burn that off and, you know, have not have that bad effects of that pizza on you. Right. So I uh, happened to see a photo of Michael Phelps a couple yeah. of years back yeah. where he was hogging on to not one but a number of pizzas. Correct. So... I think that is what you um, you mean to say. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So, well, Michael Phelps. Do you know how much that guy burns? Uh, you know, during his peak training times, how many calories he's burning a day? I guess around uh, seven to eight thousand. Probably more about fifteen thousand calories. Wow, that's double. Fifteen thousand. <laughs> you cannot. You know, uh, uh, one pizza from Domino's, medium size, will have about thousand calories. Okay. You cannot possibly eat fifteen pizzas. Yeah. No other, fo- no food will give you so much calories. Mm-hmm. Like no matter how much. Like that is why um, uh, when you're training at that level, yeah, you do need to pack in calories. Right. And pizza being like it's a very calorie dense food, right. cheese and mm-hmm. all. So he can't take care of it, like because he is burning that much. Yes. Even even for. You know, the last time we talked, we were talking about cycling and, you know, tire cycling really long distances. Yes. Even when I, or when I on my, when I'm on my really hard training peak times, I still end up, I still end up burning about um, 10,000 calories. Yeah, wow. Uh, most of my students during their peak training, you know, even if they eat a couple of pizzas every day, mm-hmm. they will still lose weight. Wow. <laughs> That's because of their training. Yeah, yeah. It, it is because they are... Spending that much amount of, of energy on that activity. Correct, correct. But our audience are very healthy. <laughs> so oh, yes. <laughs> That's <laughs> good. Amazing. <laughs> Keep it up. I won't complain about that. So, uh, now we have got a very healthy audience and yeah. I want you to help them out. Yeah. How can they, like they are into cycling, they are into swimming, they are into running. Okay. And some of them are also into gymming. Yeah. Or a balance of both. So, yeah. how can they maintain their um, balance? Okay. So, uh, now this is a very broad question. Yes. Um, now, I've been a coach and an athlete for the last eight years. Yeah. And I, I also own a gym. So, I keep getting asked this question. And it's, it's a very customized thing. But broadly speaking, uh, if you are, say, a triathlete, yes. you mm-hmm. will be you know, doing at least a couple of sessions in a day. Yes. Um, so then you have to make sure that you eat before your session, after your session. Yes. Then there is your normal everyday food that you got to have. Uh, so that totally depends on the intensity that you are uh, doing at and the age. But if you are, say, you are about somewhere between in your 20s or 30s, uh, you will be, the body will have a lot high BMI, uh, yes. which means it will be burning a lot of calories. So, uh, for athletes, I would recommend, a beginner athletes, I would recommend a high carbohydrate diet okay. with healthy fat and a healthy amount of protein thrown in. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, usually um, people who are at the medium kind of a 
intensity not really yeah. pro but not mm-hmm. really beginners also right someone like that they will also need uh, their daily vitamin intake yes uh, which is very very crucial because when you're training at that you know if you're training more than 10 hours a week uh, no matter what you eat you will not get your vitamins from the food not enough of those right. so it's uh, very essential that you you know get your uh multivitamin tablets you can have mm-hmm. that through them you can you need to get your calcium yes um these are supremely essential for you know the 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 vital functions of the body right. to keep the immunity up mm-hmm. and uh, as well to absorb all the training that uh, he or she is doing <laughs> and um yeah, yeah so also one mm-hmm. more thing is uh now people will say that you know uh why should we go on carbs and carbs yes. are bad now a lot of people are saying carbs mm-hmm. are bad but you know when it comes to the athletes like if you are an athlete it's you know it's a totally opposite carbs are really good for you because carbs are instant source of energy they are the right. fastest hmm. so if you are training for something like a brm or a dc or an, a, a marathon then there's nothing better than carbohydrates right. unless uh, you if you are a pro athlete um, and if you can sustain it a lot of pro athletes go on a uh, a high fat diet Mm-hmm. high fat diet you know fats you know they pack in a lot of energy yeah um 1 gram of uh, fat will have about 9 calories and typically 1 gram of carbohydrate has about 3 to 4 calories wow yes. so that you know it's more than double so fat is the 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 best source of energy or calories for the body but it's a little harder for the body to actually digest it or break it down right it takes the body takes more time so now if you you can train your body to utilize more and more fat but that has to be done in a precise manner with with professionals around right so ketogenic diet is something which has become a quite a big fad correct in, yeah yeah in uh, in the past years yes and uh, people are trying to accept it more and more but um, is it right see the thing is um there is nothing like right or wrong is the thing is the keto diet is not sustainable for us indians right. we are surrounded by carbohydrates we are actually swimming in a sea of carbohydrates yeah. you know if yeah. you walk down the street you'll always have an aroma of tea or samosas and mm-hmm. you know it's, it's not es- there's no escaping that <laughs> um so th- it does work yes um it will you know if you follow a keto diet for about 2 months you might end up losing i have seen that happen a uh, 10 kilos easy i've seen that happen right. it's it's not unheard of but um a lot of people do not do it properly like 90% of the times um mm-hmm. they do not have the will to uh, continue or have the uh, sustenance to keep it for the you know for much longer durations right. and when that happens they gain that wait back okay so you are back to square one but, uh, but do you think it is sustainable it is not because uh, yeah because it, like you said it's mostly surrounded with fat yeah and fats are difficult to of digest. of say of all the people who start a keto diet i would say 99% of the people drop out in not more than 2 months they can it's not sustainable it is i mean uh, if you do it right it mm. is good but the thing is you have to do it right with a professional right you can't just download a diet off the internet that is a very dangerous thing yeah i would not recommend that if you do want to do a keto make sure you have a professional and have the money because it does cost a lot okay. uh, a, a keto diet is not i mean you have to eat a lot of protein every day that means a lot of meat Mm-hmm. or eggs or mm-hmm. and then a lot of high fat as well okay yeah that's a lot of things in yes package. yes yes so you know it's there's a lot of criteria that mm. goes around so yeah that's that's the thing about keto wow so uh, we have a lot of athletes who yeah. are there listening to us right now what do you suggest how can they go ahead with it um first of all any changes that you want to do do small changes mm-hmm. if you think that first of all start off by writing everything down yeah you write down everything that you eat how much log it 
then after a week you see that then you will understand that what is good and what is not on your own mm-hmm. you know um, okay those 10 packs of biscuit or that one glass of rum obviously not good for you as an athlete right right so that has to go once you start seeing this you know do baby steps one thing at a time and do not cut these out you know if you are if you have some kind of say you drink a say one peg of whiskey every week right you know you can just cut it down to half a peg of whiskey every week you know slowly slowly and that it. this is sustainability wow if i tell you to you know if you have been doing that for your 2 3 years or your whole life you will not lose that in a day or overnight right you know it has to be these habits have to be broken it's slow, accumulated slow for steady. a very long correct, time correct now. correct correct yeah. correct or if you are a smoker or you know these these have to go out first you know, I, lo- I love yeah. what you said uh, noting down what things are you doing yeah. in your day and trying to analyze what's yeah. wrong yeah. so it can be applied in everything that one does no oh easy that. easy easy that's mm. you know making it well, once you write it it makes it real yeah it it's not just words anymore mm-hmm. what are words just air right yeah. it becomes real when you write it down and it, it does impact as an athlete you will see that difference in your performance wow so one doesn't need to do any fancy diet no <laughs> No, no, I, <laughs> you know, the, even when I'm at peak at my training, I am just eating at home. I, my mom's cooked food. Wow. Rajma chawal. Great. That's very awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, another thing which uh, has been surfacing since a lo- long time is intermittent fasting. Yeah. And people are promoting it a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, many have seen uh, positive effects on it. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of... Uh, science backing it. Mm. What do you think about it? So as I said, the science is backing you know anything that you want to back it up, right? <laughs> if you look at it in a certain angle, it does work. Yeah. Um, say even ketogenesis, a keto diet. Yes. Or your intermittent fasting diet. Scientifically, they do make sense. <laughs> now the other criteria of cost effectiveness, whether it is effective for you or not. Yes. That's a whole different thing altogether, <laughs> right? If, say, for example, uh, someone coming to a gym and just want to lose a 10 kilos, for them, maybe keto diet is good. But if I have one of my athletes comes to me and says, I want to do a triathlon, I will not put him on a keto. Right. Okay, it's a totally different thing. Mm-hmm. So, but that does not mean that keto is not scientifically proven. Yeah. Right? You understand what I mean? I, I get it. Now, coming back to intermittent fasting, again, um, it, is, it is effective. Uh, but again, you have to make sure that it has to be right for you. It mm-hmm. has to be the right for the person. Yeah. And only then it will work. Uh, so that's why it's very important that uh, he or she uh, either consults a professional. Right. Um, or, you know, talks to somebody who knows stuff. And, and then take decisions based on that. Right. So there is a lot of thing which comes in intermittent fasting. Like yeah. you need to eat this. You, need, you don't need to eat that. Yeah. Yeah. So... Does it involve what we eat regularly or is there any addition or subtraction to it? Um, so the, the intermittent fasting or any other diet, what the, the main principle of them is they create a, what we call as an energy... Uh, what's that word I'm looking for? Calorie deficit. Calorie deficit, yes. correct. So th- it's just plain math, right? Mm-hmm. How much you take in, how much you lose. Yes. And uh, you got to keep your intake lesser than your output, then right. you will lose weight. Then that this is the same principle for this um, intermittent fasting mm-hmm. as well. All it does is it will help the body. Uh, one is to help the body uh, take in less calories mm-hmm. and give the body more time to process those calories. Okay. So you are not just eating a lot of food in one go. That's one. And you're intermittently giving enough time between mm. meals and you are having multiple meals in less quantities much more frequently right so every either the, there are two two types again you either more you having more meals every 2 to 3 hours mm-hmm. or you fast for long hours you okay. know where the body does go into a very calorie deficit state i am asking this because a lot of cyclists and runners yeah. have got in mind that yes this uh, this can help them 
mm-hmm. produce uh, better results. Mm-hmm. So, do you suggest them? Wha- how should they go about it in this case? So, for cyclists, runners, and swimmers or uh, triathletes, they who are who are serious about their game, I would s- suggest that they sh- do not follow any one fat diet. Right. Right. Um, that is for one hundred percent no intermittent fasting, not at all, no way. For a cyclist, it's it's a it's a totally bad thing actually. Yeah. Uh, they will they might bonk up and you know, so they need to look at it in a way that it depends again on um, yeah uh, the time that they are training. The time that their race will be at, that ha- that is very important. Then how long the training is, all of that has to be taken into account. Yes. Then they will need things like, you know, uh, one of the most common thing that nutritionists or dietitians will tell anyone losing weight is stop eating sweets, right? Right. Stop all your chocolates, your Snickers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But all our athletes, when they're cycling, I recommend them Snickers. Yeah, we it's do carry Snickers, we do right, carry chickies. Right, right. So and that, that is the us. best thing <laughs> ever to have with you on a cycle. Mm-hmm. Is that it's there for a reason. It does help you give fast energy. And that Snicker bar, when you eat it, it's not going to stick in your body for long. It will okay. be burnt up like that. Mm-hmm. Right? So, if you now you see, you know, it's totally opposite. Yes. This is what I meant earlier. Yes. So, uh, as I said, so this is how... You know, you need to measure how much you are training right. and eat accordingly. So your goal should be correct, kept in front correct, of you before correct. Yeah, that trying out anything. You work backwards. Mm-hmm. Your goal first. Then what do you need? How much do you need to train for your goal? And then comes your nutrition. What do you need? The best possible diet or okay. uh, you know all the things that come around it. Yes. Or, and when it comes to sport, uh, you know, it's, it's not just about the food that you eat. It's also about all the uh, micronutrients, right. you know, your, um, your electrolytes, mm-hmm. your vitamins, right. your minerals, you know, uh, some, some minerals like magnesium, they help you recover faster and quicker. Okay. Um, this is, you know, much uh, more, uh, this re- is required more often by athletes because they end up doing more than normal amount of movements right. than what anyone, any lay person would do. So that's why they really? need to eat a little bit more. Wow, that's awesome. As Now, as we come to the conclusion, I yeah. want you to give some quick tips about keeping nutrition in mind uh, for everyday cyclists and okay. runners. So if, wha- if you are an athlete, I would recommend um, making sure that your recovery is proper. Yes. And for recovery, the main things for recovery is enough water. Uh, at least if you are an athlete, at least six to seven liters. Okay. If you are not an athlete, if you are just office working or stay at home person Mm -hmm. minimum three liters okay but for an athlete at least six liters and then proper electrolytes to prevent yourself from cramping or uh, uh, you know preventing you from cramping up or any energy loss then um, uh, some minerals like magnesium and zinc for a good sleep okay and um, uh, recovery then certain vitamins, as I said, right. as well, to help you recover. That These are all recovery part. Mm-hmm. Then when it comes to your performance foods, is make sure that you get enough calorie intake into you. You don't want to lose a lot of weight also. Mm-hmm. Um, if you think that uh, all that training, you're losing weight, that is not a good idea. I mean, once you have, you know, like an ideal, if you don't have a lot of fat on you and you have reached a state where your body, you know, is keeping on losing weight, that is also not good. Mm -hmm. Or neither should it be increasing in fat or weight. So a good way to keep a tab on that is to, uh, you know, measure your waist. Okay. Okay, Rather than weight, Mm -hmm. weight is, measuring your weight is very, um, how do I say, it's not very accurate because you might put on some muscle because of the training Mm -hmm. uh, and lose fat. Right. In this scenario, you will increase weight. But in this case, it's not all that bad because you're in gaining muscle, which is good. Right. Um, that's why a good way to measure mm-hmm. your uh, how your body is doing based on your nutrition is to measure the waist. Okay. That's, so that's a good if, if the waist is going down, that means you're losing fat. That Before, is right, after, right? Or yeah. It, no, no, no. Just normally, you know, you okay. can do it once a month. Okay. No point in doing it every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then making sure that you eat enough food even before you ride. 
a couple of bananas or whatever. Uh, if it's a run, make sure you run. Uh, you eat at least half an hour before. Okay. Uh, bananas are the best food for uh, for pre-workout uh, right. nutrition. Then post-workout, uh, you will need to have immediately. There's a window of about 40 minutes where you need to provide your body with some kind of nutrition. Right. Um, so this could be after, say, a, a running or a swimming or a cycling mm -hmm. thing. So here in this period, they can have a little bit of, say, a, a chocolate milk and a little okay. bit of boiled eggs. So this is a mix of carbs and protein. Okay. This is going to help the body recover. And a quick 15-minute nap. Wow. It's a really good because this also helps the uh, the training, you know, the, the body helps the body in uh, absorbing Repairing. the training. Yes. You know, um, yeah, that's, that's there. Mm. And then making sure that your meals are on time. Okay. Uh, you don't fast too much. And the greens, the healthy salads, the, at least once a day. Okay. I would recommend them in the in the in the dinner time. Mm -hmm. um, put in as much amount of greens as possible. Uh, that's okay. that's a good thing. Wow, that's brilliant. So I will I would just like to add one thing. Yeah. Speaking about the previous episode, if you do, if you haven't listened, please listen to it. It's the second episode with Chetanya. So uh, you said that you did not consume a single geo gel. Yeah, uh, I did, actually I did one. Okay. Uh, in in a in the manner of. 24 hours, right. as opposed to my first DC where I had taken about 18 gels. Okay, so that's one every hour almost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, correct. Okay, so um, now that uh, you ha you are trying more natural and more homemade. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's so basically your uh, you know kitchenies types yes. and all. Yeah. So do you suggest them to try it once? Yes, definitely. It has to be tried in training. I did not just went into a race without trying. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, so yeah, in, yeah, yeah. in the training period. Correct, correct, so correct. How can they start doing it oh, when they carry something? Like, um, what do you suggest? So start experimenting. Yeah. You know, uh, experiment with different stuff. If it works, keep it. Yeah. You know, make it a habit. If it doesn't, throw it out. Wow. Uh, if you have any doubts, you can always reach out uh, to me. I can help you out, uh, you know, with whatever doubts you have. Super. Send out an email. It's better. And I can answer your questions. Super. That's awesome. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank Once you. again, I hope you would like to come again, <laughs> speak on some topic. And uh, it was great having you, man. <laughs> it was a pleasure, pleasure. Yeah, anytime, Rohan. And it's, it's amazing what you're doing. And keep you. it up. And thank you. I wish you a lot of success. Thank you. And all the best with your students, uh, you. Iron Man uh, events that, which are coming up. <laughs> yes, thank you. And you can follow him on Team Chai on Instagram. Yes. Am I right? Yes. yes. It's Team, uh, what's that? Underscore. underscore Chai underscore. Wow, that's awesome. So if you have liked this episode, make sure you subscribe to it and share your comments. Share it to others who think that they can benefit. I'm sure they are going to benefit because that's a lot of insights which, which Chaitanya gave in 20 minutes. And I'm sure it will be helpful for you. So if you like this, make sure you subscribe. Listen to our previous episodes and we have some great lineup coming up in the coming episodes. So stay tuned and stay subscribed. We are on... Savan, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, and eplog.media website. That's our official website. So check out our other shows as well. I'm sure you would love it. Thank you. And Thank you. Ciao.